Hello everyone. So I want to talk about something I've been seeing a lot lately, the last probably month, two months. I know it's been going on for a while, but I really want to address it because I think it's extremely important. It's one of the things that we are practicing, learning, and stepping out of as we shift into new states of awareness and consciousness. So first, most of you know that we are going through a massive, <laughs> courageous, tumultuous, evolutionary shift in human consciousness. And what that means is that every single human body, every single human on the planet has the opportunity to move from old ways of being, old states of consciousness into new ways of being, new states of consciousness. We're moving out of an old world into a new world, okay? We're moving out of the collective shadow and into uh, a new way of being. But here's what is extremely important to recognize. We are not at all, even closely, going to be going through it in the same way. That even if I hold the same truths as you, it does not mean that I ever need to go through this the way you do. There are so many countries that are experiencing this differently. There are so many humans that are experiencing this differently. There are provinces, there are states, there are cities within those states, you know, air, uh, towns within those provinces that are experiencing it very differently than you. And we are not God, which means that just because I am navigating it the way that I'm navigating it does not mean that I have the right to tell somebody else how they should do it. Whether they are awake or not awake, whether they say certain things and then do things differently or don't say things and do things differently, we have got to understand that this collective evolution is years this is going to be years of us going through this. This right here in the arm, this, what we're currently watching and experiencing unravel is not the end. It's the beginning. So all of you that are frustrated, right? All of us that are looking around saying, you need to do this. You need to see this. You need to understand this, right? And we're not understanding why people are doing the things they're doing thinking they don't have choice when we're saying, yes, you do have choice. You don't know what it's like to be in their shoes. You have no idea. And I and you have no right to tell somebody how they should do something ever. That's sovereignty. Sovereignty requires us to allow everyone to go through this the way they need to go through it. And because this is the beginning, there will be many opportunities dropping in the next six months, in the next year, in the next two years, three years, etc., that are going to allow more opportunity for all of us to choose sovereignty, freedom, choice, free will, truth, etc. And if right now, there is a human on the planet that isn't capable of making that choice right now. Do not judge. Do not belittle. Do not name call them. Do not tell them how they should or shouldn't do it. Because when you do that, you're perpetuating this shadow that you are here to step out of. You're literally perpetuating the control, the coercion, the propaganda that has been thrown on you your entire life. You are literally turning it and saying, oh no, no, you have a choice. Oh no, no, you need to be doing it this way. How could you be doing this if you're seeing dot, 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 dot? You're saying dot, 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 but then you're doing it completely different. I don't understand, right? We're judging, we're holding expectation. We may be name calling or belittling. We're doing the exact thing that we are saying that we're stepping out of. So be aware of your state of awareness, your state of consciousness, your state of being over and over because that is the indication of where you are as a being of consciousness, as a consciousness, not what you say, right? It's how you are being. It's the states that you are choosing, how you are treating others. Again, we are all going to be going through this very differently. And you and I are not God. And you and I do not get to dictate how somebody else goes through it.
because somebody in Israel is experiencing this very differently than somebody like myself in Northern California. And guess what? We get to have our own unique sovereign ways of doing this. The way you unify an entire human collective through this massive evolution is that you stay firm in your truth, you stay firm in your knowingness, and you allow with patience, compassion, and empathy everyone else to navigate this the way they need to navigate it, as challenging as that may be for you. That is stepping into higher states of consciousness while we navigate this massive evolution. That's what we are practicing because they will have opportunities. You will have opportunities coming down the pike one year, two year, five year that is going to give you an opportunity to once again choose a higher state of consciousness, which is not judging, which is not belittling, which is not labeling, which is not uh, dividing. Because even in the community of people that are the, the large majority of humans that are awake to all of this, they too are creating divide. They too are judging people, right? So we've got to pay attention to the fact that this is not about what's coming out of your mouth. This is about your beingness, how you are being, your state of consciousness. And we all are going to go through this very differently and allow everyone to do that because eventually the majority of the humans will wake up out of this shadow. We just have to courageously and quite patiently hold hands with each other and go through this with as much compassion, love, and empathy as possible. I love you.